In this video, I will teach you how to make this textured monkey in Blender, and then I will show you how to export it into Unreal Engine 4, and then how to add physics to it, and how to modify the textures inside Unreal Engine. As always, it is going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so press X to delete the default cube, and then press Shift A, and we're going to add a monkey. And then let's add a, a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. So let's set it to level two. And uh, let's add some smooth shading as well. And then we need to apply the modifier so that the vertices are added to the mesh. And then press tab for edit mode and then press U to unwrap. And we're going to unwrap the texture around the monkey. And we're going to use the smart UV projection. And then in the UV editor, we can add the texture to the unwrapped monkey. As you can see, we have the monkey unwrapped. And uh, then we can uh, go into Texture Haven, where we can find uh, this texture, for example. Let's download the diffuse texture. The uh, file size, of course, depends on the resolution and the uh, file format. But for this one, I'm just going to select the 8K JPEG. And then let's open the image in the UV editor. To downloads. And then wood planks. Diffuse. Open image. And then we need to create a new material for the monkey. So press tab for object mode. Add a new material. And then add the image texture to the base color. And select it on the left side. As you can see, when we add the sun with a strength of five, we have the texture. And then the next step is to export the model. So uh, let's start off by packing the external data so that the texture is included. So we'll automatically pack into the file and then go to export and we're going to export this as a .fbx file. And then for the settings, we only need the selected objects and in this case the mesh and then go into geometry and in order to keep the smooth shading that we added, we need to set the smoothing type to face. And then give the file a name and then press enter to save. Okay. And then next, we need to open Unreal Engine 4. And we're going to start a new project for uh, this monkey. So uh, select the uh, games as the new uh, project category. Then click next. We're going to use first person. And then you can give the project a name if you want to. And then click create project. And here we have the template. And you can click play. And uh, as you can see, we have the first person template and we're going to add the monkey to this scene. Press escape to go out of the game and then right click down here in the content browser and import. We're going to import the monkey that we just created, the .fbx file. And then open and then click import. And then we can drag the monkey into the scene like this. And then I'm going to uh, drag it on the uh, set axis. So we'll drag the uh, blue arrow. And then we can rotate it on the set axis by changing the uh, set rotation value. And then we can select the light source and rotate the light as well. Okay, so now we have the monkey. And then next, we can uh, edit the material as well. 
as you can see, we have the image texture. And if you want to change the size of the image texture, you can right click to add a new node. And then search for texture coordinates, which is something you might be familiar with from Blender. And then connect it to the image texture. And from here, we can change the size of the texture by changing the values for U tiling and V tiling. So I'm going to uh, set it to 5 for both of them. And then make sure to apply the changes. And then let's go back and uh, see what it looks like. And if you want to, you can also add some physics to the monkey by going to physics settings and enabling simulate physics. And you can change the uh, weight as well. And then we can uh, try it out. So uh, click play. And then we can shoot at the monkey. As you can see the physics work. And if we remove the uh, physics, it uh, works just like a uh, passive rigid body object works in Blender, as you can see. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. More Unreal Engine tutorials coming soon.